Hey Scorpio, how you doing? It's your girl Alex, and I am here to bring you guys another reading. Uh, check the description box of this video for either the Scorpio Hangout or for reading appointments. If it's if the links are not there, they'll be in the next video, I promise. Anyway, let's see what God Angels Universe has for you, Scorpio. Five of Swords is ready to give up and walk away. Give it up and turn it loose. Eight of Wands. I feel like this Eight of Wands is like your intuition. Yeah, look at that. Like, I feel like something is on the horizon. And I feel you feel it intuitively. You just don't know what it is. Yeah, the universe is hiding it from you. For many of you, it's a new job, new financial opportunity that's going to balance out your household is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this is a new job, new income. That's my Knight of Pentacles is my Joe Tory uh, income coming in from Poetic Justice. Um, Look at that Five of Wands with the Five of Swords. Oh, that's competition. Yeah. Um, okay. 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 The hermit is overthinking. Okay. Eight of Cups. So, in a nutshell, this first row kind of feels like many of you are wanting to leave a situation really bad, right? Or you're ready to enter into a new situation really bad, right? Hate your job, hate your boss, hate the commute, hate your customer. <laughs> you just hate everything about where you are currently, whether it's employed or not. Um, and the Five of Swords is, is giving up. It's like, yo, this is not going to work out. Can't really see this, you know, anything coming from this. So let me just dip out, right? So Five of Swords to me, yeah, Angels just said cycle shift. Many of you are shifting cycles as in whatever cycle you're in currently, it kind of feels like nothing is going to come from it. So it's almost like you're readying yourself for the newer cycle or a new cycle. Now with the Two of Swords, that kind of says to me, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. I, Alex, I don't know how this is going to work. But then comes along the Page of Pentacles in the universe saying, here, well, here's some support. Here are some pentacles. Here's some encouragement. Here's some motivation. Here's some drive. Whatever it is that you need, that whatever you need and or are lacking in, okay? And I feel like whatever this is that's coming in from this Page of Pentacles is on time, okay? Um, it is a new job. And it could be a new job when you are at the brink of giving up. Um, Angel said for some of you, uh huh. I feel like I feel like this reading is gonna resonate with those of you who left a job and didn't have a new job lined up. Okay, because with that five of wands, it's next to the three of pentacles. It's almost like page of pentacles, ten of cups, knight of pentacles, three of pentacles. That's the universe's way of saying, it's going to work out, darling. But right now, you don't know because you, some of you are regretting the damn, should I have left the job? Should I have given it five more days or five more weeks? Or, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, angels just said, so basically, this is the darkness before the dawn. I point to my eight of cups because my eight of cups sometimes presents as, presents as the dark night before the soul right? So for many of you, you could have some sort of emotional breakdown, right? Cry. I, in all honesty, Scorpio, I kind of feel this energy of pouting, right? You got the lump in your throat. You kind of want to cry. You hated your job and you couldn't stay there and you had to leave. Now that you left, you can't find a job. That's what this feels like. That's exactly what this feels like. But again, you can't see this exciting new beginning that's right up under your nose. <laughs> so the universe is saying, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, Scorpio, keep keep moving forward. 
If you applied for four jobs, look, apply for four more. If you got four no's, fuck a four no's. You only need one yes. Okay. And that Ten of Cups is there with next to the Page of Pentacles. So you have some sort of financial job offer coming to you. And it's going to make you happy. And it's going to be on time. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords. Taking time out. Wow. Oh, okay. I'd be surprised if the Nine of Swords or Ten of Swords that doesn't show up. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Four or Five equal Nine. You're stressed out, right? I don't know why you're stressed. Well, I know why you're stressed out. Because again, you left, maybe you didn't have a plan in front of you. Now you're kind of quote unquote sitting around, waiting around for the universe. And the universe got jokes right now. The universe is lollygagging and pussy. Girl. Scorpio like, ain't nobody got time. I need to pay these bills. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So nine of, nine of wands, three of wands. Yep. Mm -hmm. Three of pentacles here twice. Scorpio, you're going to be all right financially. I promise you, you is. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's my God card. Um, For some of y'all, for some of y'all, this is what I'm feeling. Just as you're about to leave your job, right? If you haven't already left, it's almost like on your way out, they may offer you a promotion. And as they're offer you, offering you a promotion, one of the jobs that you applied for or will apply for in the future is gonna come through big time. So it's almost like you're going to be promoted and offered a new job at the same time. That's a prediction. And angels are saying there's the Ten of Wands. Mm -hmm. I said the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands. That makes sense. Angels just said to me, while you guys are resting, okay, make sure you're manifesting, right? My next job, I want unlimited vacation. I would love annual bonuses. I mean, I would like a sign-on bonus, right? While you're resting, manifest. Mm, child, we got the Empress and the Emperor out here. That's my number one divine partnership. Okay. Oh, this is the divine feminine who this is happening to. Mm, where would finances be in your zodiac chart? I don't know. What is that? Second house? Second house is ruled by uh, Taurus, Aries Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Libra. That makes sense because the Empress is the Libra uh, card of Venus and Venus rules Taurus and Libra. So many of you may have Taurus or Libra in your Venus placement. This is your reading. Mm -hmm. Angels also said to me too, for some of you, you have Capricorn strong in your chart just simply because Capricorns are the workaholics. And if Capricorn ain't working, Capricorn ain't Capricorning. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all notice there's a lot of earth energy on this table. I got Virgo, Virgo. I got Taurus here. Um, no Capricorn as of yet. Okay. But there are a lot of pent good pentacles on this table. Okay. Um... With the Nine of Wands and the, the Page of Pentacles, yeah. Nine of Wands says, I was tired. Okay, I'm about to give up. I'm about to walk away. And at the end of the day, for me as an energy being, giving up is surrendering. So go on and give it up to God. Okay, look, he, he, she sitting right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Five of Wands and a ten of ten of Wands. Yeah, you're struggling right now. You're you're struggling to move on, but you got the Ace of Wands here. So it's almost like so, yeah, shift. I said in the beginning of the reading, cycle shift. Right, you're in the old. You're coming around the Wheel of Fortune. Right, you're on the bottom. You're coming around. You're like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The universe is like, mm, keep going. Just one more notch, Scorpio, and you'll be able to see the horizon. You can't right now. Mm -hmm. I also feel like for many of you, 
Um, you may have a, a person you're connected to emotionally who may be a source of encouragement from you. Your mama, your daddy, your spouse, your dog. Your dog may look at you and be like, oh, keep going. <laughs> yeah, you're waiting for your happiness to return. You're waiting to shift. You're waiting for, again, to shift on that wheel so you can, again, see what's ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups with the Empress, whatever you lost, you're going to get back. Okay, whatever you walk up, walked away from, walking away here, walking away here. Resting here, abundance here. So it's almost like the universe is cycling up, right? Powering up, if you will. Uh, okay, this is a weird example. Angels just said, think about your electronic devices, like your cell phone, tablet, laptop, whatever have you. And when that device goes low, right? It loses its charge. What do you do? You go connect it to a power source. So for right now, many of you who are resting, you're not resting per se, you're readying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have the two of swords with the two of cups, right? These two. You don't see the happiness that's in front of you. And again, nine of wands, ten of wands. I said four, five and four is nine. I said I wouldn't be surprised if the ten of swords or the ten of wands came out. Ten of swords and the ten, ten of wands kind of says to me, the reason why the universe gave you this resting, readying period, because you were burnt the fuck out. <laughs> Scorpio's like, mm -mm, where my fire at? I need a new fire. I need to get burnt out all over again. Universe is like, Scorpio, sit your ass down. <laughs> Angels just said too, um, yeah, I know. Angels just said, for some of you, I don't know who this is going to resonate with. You're used to being busy. That's why you're struggling right now if you're struggling with in this rest readying period because you're used to being busy. Okay, we taking all of them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ten of cups, mm-hmm. Nine of cups, mm-hmm. Judgment ha uh, and the hanged man, mm-hmm. So Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, I don't have cancer yet. So that's a lot of water, baby. That's Scorpio too with Aries as the judgment card. I had the Emperor of Aries, the Empress is Tau Taurus and Libra. We're sitting in Libra season. We're sitting in a, a we're sitting in Venusian energy. Your emotions, got it. You're emotional. That's what it is. That's what it is, right? Now y'all notice we opened with swords, so that's your head, right? That's your mental, okay? Um. You needed a mental break, or some of y'all need a mental break. Angel said, now Scorpio, don't quote me here, but I kind of feel like four days, four weeks, maybe a full month, right? I kind of feel like that's how much rest you need, okay? But for some of y'all, shit, when that rent or mortgage to drop by one month, so that's a long time, Angel. That's a long time, okay? Can we cut that four into two or one or right now? Uh, Tower, yeah, you got a job offer coming in out of nowhere, Scorpio. And and again, with the two of swords, you can't see it. You don't know it. You, you still are resting or thinking about or harping on or dwelling on what you're coming from. Universe is like, ain't nobody got time for that. Anytime the sun rises, it, it doesn't say, oh, well, yesterday's setting was really bad. Right? Mm -mm. Sun don't, well, we don't focus on the past. Him. And by the way, the sun doesn't rise or set. The earth just spins. Anyway. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you got justice coming. Scorpio, listen to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nine of Swords. Makes sense. Four, five and four is nine. You're stressed right now. Because you had some sort of emotional departure. But you're stressed because you cannot see the newness that is headed your way. We just, <laughs> just get over the hump, Scorpio. Come out of this. Well, I don't, I don't know. Now, here's the thing. Because I just heard for some of you, you may be offered a job.
When you are offered this job or this new opportunity, you're going to be very confused about it. But angels say are saying to me, let them know that their confusion is only because they're still burnt out, right? So as an example, right, if, if you're a supermarket technician, y'all don't believe they exist, but they do. Somebody got to manage some servers, right? Say you manage a server in a supermarket, like say Walmart or I don't know, Kroger or Harris Teeter, one of them, right? And that you the network has been fucking with you left and right. You've been on call. You, you're burnt out. You're tired. Okay. So Angel said for some of you, as you are about, are you, as you are going to start thinking about, I need a new job. You're going to get a promotion. Okay. Now, when you get that promotion, the knight of the hangman and the nine of wands says, I'm burnt out. I can't even imagine taking anything new on. Right. So in other words, your outlook is going to be skewed if you don't get that rest. Right. So in other words, if you're currently burnt out, any additional work is just going to feel like a heavier load. I hope that makes sense. That's why rest is so important. So if you are in a position, right, where they're like, hey, we want to offer you this promotion. You've been managing our networks. You've been doing a fucking amazing job. If you can be like, man, that's awesome. I would love to take on that opportunity. Is there any way I could start maybe in like three or four weeks? I would ask. Okay. Because Scorpio, you need rest. Rest. You need a resting period. Eight of cups, seven of cups. I got the ten of cups here twice. I got the knight of cups. I got the king of cups. I got the two of cups. I got the ace of cups. I got the sun card. I got the tower. I got the justice. Okay. For some of you, um, whatever this transition is, is going to be heavily emotional. Number one, if somebody comes to you and be like, yo, you, we recognize the work you've been doing. We want to reward you. That's going to hit you in the heart muscle, Scorpio. Shit, that would hit me in the heart muscle. Somebody acknowledging and recognizing my blood, sweat, and tears. Okay? Um, but if for some reason that's not your scenario, when they offer you the new position and you see that they reward you with a bonus or with, you know, doubling, I don't know if that's possible, but doubling your pay or giving you a $5,000 bonus, right? Like, when you see the offer that's made, it's going to make you emotional just simply because to me, with the God card here, the Emperor, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor is an executive, right? Like your work, it, it has reached someone. I don't care if you're a nurse, right? Your work has reached a higher up. And I feel like they're wanting to reward you for all these damn nines on the table. Mm -hmm. Right? Five and four is nine. Um, nine of wands. Nine of swords here in the end. Um, and I think that's it. The tower and the ace of cups. Yeah, to me, this kind of feels like whether it comes from your employer specifically or if it's coming from the universe, I feel like you're about to be handsomely, attractively, gorgeously, cutely rewarded for your good deeds. Now, again, I feel like the word transition, transformation is key here because it's going to hit you right at that brink, right at that brink where you're just like, I can't do it no more. Now, again, for many of you who are fighting, who are burnt out and you don't, you refuse to take a break, I kind of feel like you may need to call in, right? Call in sick and be like, listen, I, I, I just can't. I need a mental day. And I feel like when you return back to work is when the universe is, is going to shower you with all of this, these rewards and or recognition. Now, I do not have a queen here. I don't. I have the emperor, I have you, the king of cups. I have the empress, which is only the emperor's wife, okay? 
I got the Knight of Cups. I got the Knight of Pentacles. I got the Page of Pentacles. I don't have, I don't, I don't, I don't think this um, may have anything to do with an intimate personal relationship. Okay. Um, it could be parents, children, right? This one feels more familial or professional. Okay. As in whatever relationship this is, it kind of feels like quid pro quo. You've been taking care of me. Now I got, I want to reward or repay you for taking care of me. Now, I got three threes. I could not come up out of this video without acknowledging my three threes. I have the three of wands. Where are you? Here. Three of pentacles twice. So this is, yeah, the, you don't see this coming. It's so funny to me because I love when the universe sneaks surprises me. I'm the type of person who loves surprises, but it's really hard to surprise me because I'm incredibly intuitive. But I love when the universe sneaks surprises me, right? If you can get one over on me, you're doing good. And sometimes I just shut down, like, you know, close my 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 cosmic hole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I can be surprised. Now, five of wands, ten of wands with justice. Five of wands is chaos, mayhem, controversy. Ten of wands is blockages, right? Burdens, okay? Like whatever it is that is that is keeping you from moving forward, you have the justice card here, which kind of says Alakazam, you know, poof, gone. Okay. Uh, Libra, we're currently in Libra season. So this is happening right now. Um with the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Oh, okay. Angels just said the universe is answering a prayer, okay? So Knight of Swords is dialogue, and it's the third night, third night that I have on the table. I, could, I forgot about that Knight of Swords. But um, that's another three. So I kind of feel like for you, Scorpio, you got a beautiful option coming in. With that Hermit card, that's kind of going within. What am I doing, you know? What do I need to do? I just need to go for it. I know things are going to be okay. To me, this is almost like speaking to yourself, encouraging yourself, um, staying on the lighter side versus going on the dark side. You know how you love a dark side, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Not only that, but angels just brought something to my attention. Happiness, the flow of love, right? Reciprocal happiness going back and forth on the King of Cups. Uh, you have something coming in hot. It's coming in immediately. I would say for many of you within a week of the, watching this reading, no matter when you watch it, you can't see it coming. It is replenishment and repayment. But I was going to say happiness, reciprocal love, judgment, as in God, angels, universe, the whole universe knows for you, Scorpio. It's time. You are the doer of good deeds. It's time. With the... Um, hanged man the hanged man is you know kind of lending an um how can i say that like trying another perspective right like releasing your own perspective and maybe considering a perspective that's different from your normal perspective right just opening up to the possibilities after the nine of wands yeah so for many of you it's almost like i'm burnt out i'm fed up i don't know what to do this placement here is almost like saying, just continue to believe, continue to remain open. The universe is going to show up in a big, fantastic, fantastic way, Scorpio. You're going to be elated. I don't use that word next to your name too much, Scorpio, but you're going to be elated. I don't know what the hell this is. But I see all these pentacles on the table, so it's got to be penticular. Y'all know that's my new word. And we have the tower moment. So the, um, the knight of um, pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the tower card, this new opportunity comes out of nowhere. Hell, for some of y'all, it could be three job offers. You get a new job or promotion and hit the lotto. Hot diggity schmiggity. Wouldn't that be fucking great? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking great? 
Yeah, you're having you're having issues sleeping or you're having challenging dreams. For many of you, you could be dreaming about loss. As in you get robbed, somebody steals from you, um, you lose money. Yeah, because dreams sometimes happen in opposite. So if you have a dream where you're losing something, it was, it's be, because in reality you're about to gain something. Yeah, I know. The only card that's not here is death. Death is the ending, the transformational card. Angels are saying we didn't feel the need to bring the death card out because we know you're in transition anyway. Okay. Some of you, this transition began in September. That's the ninth month. Um, but the tower card kind of says, yeah, uh, un unforeseen opportunities that come out of nowhere in the perfect timing. I have the emperor with the ace of cups and the three of pentacles. It's almost, yeah, this, this to me feels like a gift from God, him or herself. Okay. Almost like God saying to you, I know Scorpio, I know, right? I know it's taken me some time. I know you've been through some shit. My God curses. Because um, my God is not a person. My God is energy. And you know what it means to be go, to go through some shit. So you understood that message. Anyway. And the emperor with the um, ace of cups is almost like just somebody seeing you. Right? Them just seeing you. Like, listen, I know you've been busting your ass. I know you've been having trouble sleeping. I know you don't went through three dark night of the souls this year. But you know what? Through all of that, you stayed on your feet. Through all of that, you still tried. So you know what, Scorpio? Of course I got you. Okay? Of course I got you. And the, the judgment card, excuse me, the justice, I got judgment here too. It's saying, listen, release these blocks. Alakazam. Lollapalooza. That's not, that's not a magic word. Abracadabra. Poof. Be gone. Your blocks be gone. And happiness is, is about to return. Oh, Angel said, hush. Mum's the word. Don't talk to nobody about your future plans. Don't talk to nobody about your blessings. I really do feel like God, angels, universe are wanting you to bring that, that your grievances to God, ancestors, whomever you pray for. Okay. I can't make this up. Take time and breathe out. Scorpio, you are overworked. You are overworked, but guess what? You's about to be overpaid, bitches. I love you. <laughs> I can't make this up answers you need are coming mm -hmm. it's right here you ask ask and she and he shall receive and they shall receive right the the bible verse you you have not because you've asked not so again i, I mentioned earlier in the reading while you are resting you best be manifesting if you rest in you better be manifesting rest in manifesting I can't make this up. I I I am. I'm not right, but you know the universe is far more intelligent than I am. Okay, a fiery climax approaches. It's that Ace of Wands. Yeah, it says approaches. Scorpio, I feel like again it's within seven days of watching this reading. I that I'm gonna wild wild ass prediction. Seven days within watching this reading. I'm putting it out there. Some of y'all, it could be shorter. Some of y'all could be longer. Mm -hmm. Look, look at it. Look at it. Meditate and come. Listen, <laughs> my angels just said this reading, portions of this reading is almost like the, the candles on your cake have been lit. And now somebody says, make a wish, Scorpio, and then blow out your candles. Okay. So I kind of feel like this is the universe saying, Scorpio, boo-boo, what you need? What you want, boo-boo? You, you need a job? Poof, done. You need a court case cleared? Poof, done. You need a divorce finalized? Poof, done. You need them tickets thrown out? Poof, done. You need to register to vote and you a felon and they're trying to hold up your paperwork? Poof, done. Done, honey. Hell yeah. Confidence confidence is the key to success. You know who all of my confidence is in? That couple right there. 
God the universe, okay? Uh, that is masculine and feminine. You can call it positive and negative, positive and negative, dark. I don't give a shit. North Pole, South Pole. I don't care what you call it, Scorpio. He, she, them, they are coming in to bless your life and, and give you the most wonderful birthday season, okay? If you resting, say it with me, you best be manifesting. All right, Scorpio, boo-boo, I love you. I hope I get to talk to you soon um, in personal readings. I know I'm going to have them open, I think, during Scorpio season. Don't know the times yet. But anyway, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, you know, pet your dog, pet your cat, and I'll see you babies in the next one. I love you. Bye.